food sustainability, economic resilience, aquaponics. Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keep in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Alright, so I shared it to you for the past couple of weeks, if not months, uh, my aquaponic system. I shared it to you that I have just added a pump to, well, I have added a pump to my 270 gallon tote. Yes, 270 gallon tote with about probably about four dozen um, fingerling uh, tilapia right and tilapia is consumed by me at my yard feeding them um, locally produced um, fish feed what you call um hype it's come it's, it's manufactured by hypo right and uh my fish is actually used as a source of protein for me i shared it to you several videos ago where i had this entire space filled with lettuce i shared it to my arrow However, by just getting additional seeds, although they were kind of difficult to get, right, I was able to actually, you know, get something going, right? Um, yeah, get something going. So I have about probably about uh, five plants in this space. Yeah, I have about five plants in this space, while I have another probably about um, another six tree and tree yeah i have about six plants in this space now they go into fruition they go in you know to the size in which i want and that would be great because you know lettuce and i'm going to be doing a video on that lettuce can you can use the same root you just cut it and it actually springs again and it gives you um, new lettuce um for a period of time but that's not the purpose of today's share today's share is talking about Food sustainability and the whole idea of you know you're you're being independent and you know you are able to suffice your financial as well as your health needs. Now fish provides protein, right? And uh, veg fruits and vegetables, well, it's really vegetables, grown in an aquaponic system and can provide you provide you with different minerals and uh, vitamins and other nutrients that you need so as to ensure that your body stay um, fit right now having an aquaponic system what it does it decreases the need for you to actually go to the soil when you go to the soil you're gonna have to deal with, deal with um, pesticides yeah because of the insects you're gonna have to talk about um, you know the different chemicals that you have to use in your plant and chances are you're talking about you know some amount of chemical residue actually you know remaining in that plant and you're consuming that plant and you're ultimately becoming ill uh some persons go the natural route but that's a little bit you know time consuming to some extent and if you go that way you might end up um getting yes yield um per field that is actually cultivated right in my aquaponic system i do not need to do that i have my tilapia fish they i just fed them and it is after i actually fed them that they actually decided to go down and not come back up but these are my fingerlings um yeah these are some of my fingerlings Right, I'm going to be placing another aquaponic system here so as to get a system over there and I'm going to be planting some more um, vegetables, probably cabbage next time, right, or something else. Right, back to the whole economic sustenance. Now, if I am able to um, go and harvest lettuce within these two spaces, I'm able to do one of two things. One, I'm able to keep a balanced diet, having the nutrients that I need just to get my body going. And two, if I do just enough to, you know, make myself, you know, more f financially, I call it now, um, you know, independent, 
I could practically get some of these containers and place it on all of these totes and have roughly a backyard farm set up in which I could plant the crops in the container, reap them, and sell them to the local market and make some money. This of course, yes, it, it, it takes some time and some ingenuity because I'm going to have to need uh, uh, no, a, a larger pump, a larger setup, a larger plant, a bed, a, a whole large system to do that. This setup is just for academic purpose, to see if it really works, to share with you what I do and in the best scenario as possible. You can practically ch ch um, you know, challenge yourself to do something like this, right? In the next couple of months, chances are I might pull it down and I might try something else so as to share with you because this channel is a learning channel. Sustainability, the fish can sustain the vegetables, the crops that is here, right? And the crops can help to keep alive the fish that is there um, as a result of they actually using the waste from the plant and uh, sorry they are using the waste from the fish and they actually grow right there's no chemicals there's no fertilizer there's nothing that is used um, within this system uh, so I am not no, I'm, I, I am not going to be there worried whether or not um, in the future I'm going to be suffering from some ailments as a result of all those um, chemicals that have induced within my body. Now, uh, the hardest thing to do in a system like this is to actually get the right seed. And I've actually spoken to you about that in a video before. Now, some seeds, yeah, some seeds are more difficult to grow in aquaponics. Some seeds, <laughs> like these, you know, they, they just find I find them difficult to actually plant and get what I need right one of the hardest thing is to actually get your, your thing started up and as soon as it start up uh, hardest thing is for you to actually maintain it now all these plants here they are new um, as soon as they reach probably about four or five inches of the planter bed I'm gonna have to rigidly keep this covered right when it, as far as it reach um, when it reach about probably about six or seven you know inches like out out of the pond you know leaf scattering i probably might have to make a little shed a little remove the shed to place over here because of the sun right that's the only little issue that i have as far as water in the planter bed is concerned i don't have to worry about that some persons as i shared in other videos in this aquaponic system some persons use bell siphoning some persons use timer so as to time the water what i do i structure my system in such a way that it, the waste is built up to a particular level the roots um, and, and I think that is one of the reasons why the, the seeds are not coming because I set it in such a way that they, it has to be filtered for a while before um, the seeds can actually germinate um, feeling, or should I say, feeding on the nutrients within the plant of it I think that's probably one of the reasons why I'm having difficulty anyway I'm, I'm trying to sort that out and I have five stuff here uh, six over here and i think generally i think that that's that's enough so i'm going to leave it alone and i'm going to just watch and pray and that everything works my way there's a song like that right all right so as far as um aquaponics concerned i do not have to change my water so readily one i do not have to use fertilizer um on the plants i can consume my fish um, whenever I think that it's time, I can consume my plants whenever I do harvest them. I can sell my plants, I can sell my fish, right? So you can see the economic, um, you know, buoyancy there. I, I can go either way, right? And earn money, right? As far as sustainability is concerned, at certain age, the fish will have babies, right? Just like the um, tilapia, as I try to share with you around here. Right, these will eventually go in the pond uh, form a part of my aquaponic system and the larger one will actually form a different system the system where which I actually fry it to it or bake it right so it's a system that is in play a system that promotes um, economic sustainability sustainability as far as 
dependence on you know you know backyard farm so as to ensure that i am um healthy and strong now anyone can do this it just takes a little ingenuity and creativity and you should be there you're gonna have some trial and errors you're gonna have some spaces in which um some little great areas in which things in which i have done probably it won't work for you if if you're not in the tropics probably it may be a little bit different because what happened is that in the tropics i have well i experience wet season and dry season it doesn't really affect this however if i was living like in north america or a section of europe i i couldn't have this guys i couldn't have this i mean i'm outdoors right i couldn't have this in november right if i was living in china i couldn't have this um in the winter neither or in india i would have to have it within an indoor heated space so as to prevent um the plants from actually dying i am not going to be rambling on much all i have to say is that there is economic sustainability uh, within uh, the aquaponic system and if you do a little bit more research on it you'll find that you can even do it with your fish tank within your house what you need is creativity you just need to get the flow right you just need to get the water moving you just need to get the plants growing and the right fish thank you very much for stopping by guys um, I hope that this mumble jumble kind of spur your interest within this field peace out catch you next time bye 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 bye